the universe was vast and ancient, and within it existed a world known as Hyperion. On this planet, a group of travelers embarked on a pilgrimage to see the legendary time tombs, said to hold the power to change the course of history. Among the group were a poet, a soldier, a scholar, and a rogue eye named Bron Lamia. Each held their own secrets and motivations for making the journey, but as they traveled deeper into the dangerous and mysterious landscape of Hyperion, they began to realize that their fates were intertwined in ways they could never have imagined. The time tombs, ancient and mysterious structures that seemed to move backwards through time, were guarded by the Shrike, a terrifying creature said to have the power to grant wishes, but at a terrible price. The travelers were warned to stay away from the tombs, but they could not resist the pull of the unknown. As they journeyed, they shared their stories with each other, each revealing a piece of their past and their reasons for undertaking the pilgrimage. The poet Martin Silenus had been commissioned to write an epic poem about the tombs and the Shrike, but had become obsessed with the idea. The soldier Colonel Fedmon Kassad hoped to confront the Shrike in order to avenge the death of his lover. Bron Lamia, the rogue Eye, carried a fetus in her womb, the child of a great leader who could change the course of history, and the scholar Sol Weintraub sought to understand the tombs and the Shrike in order to save his daughter from a rare disease. As they drew closer to the tombs, they encountered strange and terrifying creatures, and each faced their own personal demons. But they also found moments of beauty and wonder, and their bonds of friendship grew stronger. Finally, they reached the Time Tombs and the Shrike. The creature appeared before them, and they each made a wish not knowing what the cost would be. The poet's wish was for inspiration, the soldiers for revenge, the scholars for a cure for his daughter, and the rogues for a future for her unborn child. The Shrike granted their wishes, but at a terrible price. Each of their lives was forever changed, and they were forced to confront the true cost of their desires. In the end, they realized that the journey to the Time Tombs had not been about the destination, but about the people they had become along the way. They had each found a sense of purpose and meaning, and they had been changed forever by the experience. As they journeyed back home, they carried with them the memories of Hyperion and the Time Tombs, knowing that their lives would never be the same. They had each been granted a wish, but at a terrible price, for the price of a wish is the price of a soul. And so the travelers returned home, changed but with a newfound sense of purpose and understanding of the world around them. The Songs of Hyperion is a story of redemption, the cost of desire, and the power of friendship. It is a journey of self-discovery, in which each character must confront their own demons and realize that the true meaning of life is the people we meet and the connections we make along the way.